Hi, this is Aliyah Escobar and I'll be doing a skincare routine video. Um, I just woke up like not too long ago, so I'll be starting with the whole, you know, skincare routine. This video was highly requested, so you guys asked for it, so here it is. I'm wearing a headband on my head today because I don't feel like doing my edges or whatever. So, um, first thing you do, of course, is you know get your hair out the way. You could use a um, a hair cap. You could use a bonnet, like what I use. It doesn't matter. Um, next thing I'll be using is Koji Sun Soap. There's a lot of things I have to say about this soap, right? Which in terms of how to use it, um, where can you buy it, and what to look out for. You have to be careful. There is real Koji Sen soap and then there's fake Koji Sen soap. If you want another video of me explaining the difference between the two, you know real versus fake soap i can make another video if you guys want but this video is just strictly on my skincare routine i do not use my hands i know a lot of people might just um take the soap lather it up and then put it on their face you can do that if you want but me personally i don't like to do that at this point if you're still using your hands what are you doing like seriously what are you doing seriously what are you doing like if you're gonna like use something at least use like this at least use like you know a face brush or something you know but just try to avoid your hands like for real like i i feel like it's better results when you don't use your hands because it gets deep into the pores what i do is i don't really use the brush for the koji sand soap i use the brush for my cleanser because this is the cleanser that i used but i haven't used it in honestly i haven't used it in two months to be honest i haven't used it in a while because this soap works so good so it's like i don't really need it anymore but if there is a time where i want that extra clean then i'll go in with this i'll leave it on my face for about like 10 to 15 minutes and then i use this while it's sitting on my face and then i rinse it off or whatever and you're gonna like lather up the soap in a washcloth i use a washcloth because i feel like it really like penetrates deep into my skin compared to just putting the soap on your face i just feel like it works a lot better for me you don't have to but but for me i do And you're gonna just like rub it in circular motion. Get under those eyes too, because you don't want no raccoon eyes. You, you don't want that. So, and then work on your forehead. You can use this soap for your whole. Sorry, I just spit, but, but you can use this soap for your whole body. I personally use it for my whole body. It works great and there's no need for me to stop. So you don't have to, you can just use it on strictly on your face to get rid of those acne and scars. It's really up to you, honestly. As long as you pay attention and follow the instructions of what's needed. If this is your first time using the soap, it's going to burn a little bit. It's going to burn. It will. Um, it's normal. You don't have to worry about it. Um, it's going to leave your face a little dry too because of the burn. Your face is going to feel dry for like a couple of days or so. 
So you might want to add a moisturizer or um, something to help, you know, soothe the dryness of your face. Whatever it is that you use, you might want to use that. Me personally, I do not use moisturizers. Where I live, I live in the islands where it's hot. If I wear a moisturizer, it's like, it's a waste to me because I'm putting on all this moisture just to go outside and sweat even more. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Use this. This is what I use. Top of clear. And make sure it says skin lightening cream. Because the lightening cream, that's what really works. Like, there's different types, so you have to pay attention. Make sure you buy the one that says skin lightening cream because they have a skin tone cream. They have like many types, so make sure you're getting the one that says lightning cream. And that's what I use. Um, no, it's not a moisturizer, but it's just a lightning cream, but it's very lightweight. And for me, it does the job. It, it kind of works like a moisturizer for me because I have combination skin where my forehead and my nose are like, they sweat a lot very sweaty and they break out and then my cheeks are like very dry so I have that combination skin so and it helps for me like it's very lightweight and it does the job my mom is who put me onto this stuff she's been using it since she was like a kid since she was young she put me onto them stuff I've been using that since I was like what since I was like what 13 years old I've been using that top clear so yeah but um yeah, that's that's really it. I just kind of go in my eyes too. Right now, my goal is under my eyes because if you look at my pictures where I have on no makeup, you'll see that my eyes is like a little bit darker than my face. So that's my goal right now. I might start using eye creams. I think that's what might help me because if I continue to like lighten my skin, it's gonna be harder for me to like lighten those eyes. So I might invest in a, um, a eye cream. Maybe that's what I might do. I don't have one as of yet. I'm not using any eye cream as of yet, but I will be using one soon. I just need to find the right one. I like to do it on my lips too. Especially the outer line, because the outer line of my lips are like really, you know, they're dark. I don't do this in the mirror, you know. I take a shower with this. You see, this is what I bathe with. I bathe with this every day, once a day, once a night. So, I mean, if you just want to use it on your face, if you just want to use it as a cleanser, you can. But me, I, this is what I bathe with. This is what I use. So I basically go and take a shower and I use this. Uh, usually when you order, you know, the Koji Sen Soap, it would come with um, a soap net. This is to help stop it from melting because it melts very fast. It does. It melts really fast. So this soap net really helps to stop it from melting very fast. And another technique I would say is um, try cutting the soap in half so in that way it lasts longer. I buy six soaps and I cut each of them in half. Six times two is 12. So basically I have 12 instead of six. And that lasts me for about like almost two months. Just please like, I'm warning you, like please like, Please cut the soap in half because it melts so fast, like it really does. I mean, this helps, but it can only do so much. So like, just, it's best to cut it in half. See my, if you notice, the soap is drying and that's good, that's normal. That's when it's time to rinse off, when it starts to dry. So it, it might burn a little bit, but that's normal, that's okay. It means that it's working. So don't get discouraged or anything, but yeah. That's about it. I'm going to rinse off and then I'll come back and get into the next step, which is a facial scrub. Okay, I just rinsed off and this is how my face look. Still wet. Still got a little scars, you know, I'm trying to work on. But overall, my face has improved a lot. I like to go in with this Nuxima 
If you don't know, well now you know. This is some good stuff. Everybody knows about it. Secret ingredients. So basically, I just put it on my face. Like I said, I don't do this every day because the soap works so good. So I don't really need to do this. Like, this is just me being extra. Like, I don't really need to do this. This is what I like to do. I, like, some some people like to leave it on their face until it's dry and then rinse it off. But me, I like to go in with the brush until it's dry and then I rinse it off. So now I'm going to go in with St. Ives Gentle Smoothing Oatmeal Scrub. And it's a mask too. So you can, you know, use a little brush applicator and put it on your face. Or you can just use your hands. doesn't matter. So it's like a two-in-one. It's a facial scrub and a mask. But I use it as a facial scrub. This is like for my dry skin people. If you have dry skin, this is going to do you justice, this, because like it's oatmeal and oatmeal is known for having great, you know, natural properties to help the skin. If you don't know, do some research, Google it, oatmeal has very great properties in it. Oh, a little disclaimer, um, your face might look a little red while using the soap, but that's okay, that's normal too. So once that done, then you're going to go into the top of clear that I was telling you about. As you can see, the tube is almost done because I use it every single day and night. And I apply two coats of this. The first coat I use a lot and then the second coat I use a little bit. I'll show you. And I just put a little bit. I use about like this amount and then I just rub it all in and I like to rub it into my neck too to help you know even things out so my face won't be lighter than my neck you don't have to apply it on your neck but it will be better if you can because it will give it more of a natural look. Then I'll go in with a second coat, but just a little bit this time. You don't have to use two coats, but for me, it works a lot faster when I do two coats, so. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you.